Hey guys and welcome again to Thumb Culture. We're just taking you through another of our videos for the Fnatic CSL Elite steering wheel for the PlayStation 4 and PC. This video is generally going to be a little bit of a show off of the wheel just so that you can see the, the actual build quality that is present here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire it up. So what we have around here is we have the power button. So press the power button, you have the power and the mode buttons there. Press and hold the power button and it comes to life. It does its own little bit of calibration. And there you go. So, the steering wheel being a PS4 uh, licensed wheel from Sony obviously comes with the face buttons, the PlayStation button, and all of the other buttons that you would imagine is there. But the first thing, number one thing you need to do is check the mode. So, the mode button. At the moment, we're in the purple mode, which is compatibility mode. So that's for games such as Project Cars, where the, the wheel hasn't been officially made uh, with the game in mind. Press mode, we go on to blue, is the official PS4 mode. That will be used for all of the new games that are coming out, such as Dirt 4, Assetto Corsa, and GT Sport, as well as Project Cars 2. Press it again, and it goes to red. This is the PC mode. If you plug this steering wheel into the PC without it being in this red mode here, your PC will not recognize it and you won't be able to use it. So for this video, we don't really need to be in any particular mode. So I'm just gonna put it back into compatibility mode. So as you can see, going around the unit, we have the rev lights at the top of the unit. Fanatec white logo on this brushed aluminum style plastic board and then we have the CSL Elite logo there and as you can see I'm connected via the table mount in this office. So on one of my previous videos I spoke to you about these buttons. Now all of these buttons can be removed however they are a bit fiddly. There we go. Excuse me while I just adjust the camera. There we go. So as you can see, I've taken out the L3 button. Now you do get a massive array of different buttons. Now depending on what game you're playing, you might not want to change them, you might just get used to them. However, you might feel that you want to give a certain button the windscreen wipers, for example. Now I'm not gonna put the windscreen wipers in because I want this one to come back to where it is, but literally all you do is line up your L3 or whatever the button is. You can rotate them once they're in and just give it a little, this is more difficult one-handed, there we go. Give it a little push and then you're in. And that's exactly it. So now I'm gonna take you through the tuning menu. So at the top of the steering wheel, if you press the tune button, just here, you are shown S1. Now you have a number of setup options. These are for setting your own setups dependent on game. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to setting one and we're gonna go through each of the options. So sin, sensitivity is the amount of lock that you can have on the wheel. So setting it to automatic, which it's currently on, allows you to have the full rotation. Now, if I drop it all the way down, don't worry, it will go very fast. So now we get limited to a 90 degree angle, which is 45 degrees one way, 45 degrees the other way. And the best way to show it, that's your maximum angle on that setup. So, Obviously, if you're playing a Formula One game and you only want a certain amount of rotation, then fine. But I would set that to automatic and leave that as it is because then you get the full rotation. 
and it will go round all the way but obviously it's uh, it, it, there's no game to go round so we've done that one force feedback strength always leave this at 100 set if you're playing a game like project cars it allows you to set the force feedback independently within the game leaving this at 100 allows you to have that control if you change this to anything less then if you set this to say 50% and then in project cars you drop that down to 50% you're actually at 25% so you're better off trying to use the game to find that so we have lots of different settings but the one that I want to talk to you about is this the drift one now essentially this loosens up the steering when you have this this wheel out of the box it is set to minus five now this on minus five is a tight tight wheel there is a lot of a lot of sort of grip so Whereas if you set this all the way up to five, the wheel turns very light and actually starts to have a bit of a mind of its own, as you saw then, as you can see. So we're just calming it down. Right, you don't want that to be like that. So I have it off, because then it gives you a good amount steering pressure you still have to give a decent amount of force behind the wheel but you don't get that constant bounce that you just saw so all of in all it's a great piece of kit I'm not going to go through all of the settings because there will be features on those as we go through all of the other series on the game but so that is enough for now. Until next time, this is the Fanatic CSL Elite Steering Wheel, and you have been watching Thumb Culture.